I've got another one here that's, uh, well, let's just let, tell you what, let's just look at all the zones on this well. Okay, here's one. Uh, I'll move this back down so we can, I want to put this so we can see recovery and pressures at the same time. And by the way, with uh, the way ATMS works, it's all windowed here. Like uh, right now I'm showing, this is actually the data. And then if you zoom up, And then if you, uh, if you, once you highlight it, then, then it brings that data page down to that particular part of the, of the test. It also has the ability to uh, export into ASCII, uh, you know, if you, for your, you know, for, for doing further reservoir analysis. But, uh, but yeah, there's a, there is, a, there would be a lot of, like, like you know, there would, sure, there would sure be a lot of people arguing that that is in fact a second zone trying to exert itself, and uh, I'm, I'm going to stay on the fence on that one. I'm Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he did, didn't he? We're not to answer another text message. <laughs> you know, I, one of the things that's frustrating on some of these tests, you know, every now and then you get that odd curve. And, and this is just pressure versus time graphing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I, I'm like you, Paul, I think there is. I don't, I don't know exactly. Don't claim to know everything about it, but if you have a slow building pressure, situation in a tight zone that you can get, you know, those two different, I think you can see two different pressure profiles from two different levels. I don't think you do get all that equalization. That's assuming they're the same, the same type of reservoir. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's a good assumption for most of them. And we're talking about Lansing's on primarily. Yeah. In Kansas. Well, I just, I've seen, I've seen so many times where where it'll look, where it will look like this, and and uh, I guess it's just what's. I, I guess you got. I'm. I, you try to picture in your mind. Well, well, what is that? What is that one with with both those zones being in communication with each other for the first time in in history? They've there's there's two zones that have a chance to to uh, see each other, and and is the. Is the more power is 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 one zone that's got more permeability because you can you can tell on this this particular zone here even though there's not a whole lot of bottom hole pressure there's there's pretty fair amount of perm here I mean look how that flow is building in fact it it almost equal you know it almost equals this final shut in pressure well I'm gonna spend some time here just doing some some case histories and then I'm I'm also gonna show some explanation here um, you know we you know I, I know we were Preaching and Bill was chiming in on the the importance of running you know the short initial flow and okay and and here's probably one of the best examples of of, of what that accomplished. Um, pay attention, you know. Of course, we here's here's a, here's an operator that ran a real short initial flow, but uh, I'm going to zoom up here and uh, look at the difference in look at the difference in how these two shut-ins acted. Uh, Bill, come in here so I can here's here's somebody that did what you said. And look at the difference here. I'm zoomed up, and uh, I'll zoom back out again. But, but look how much faster that initial shut-in built up and broke over, and 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 you can attribute that to this real short initial flow. Then that then they went ahead and they ran the longer final flow, and a uh, completely different profile of of uh, shut-ins. But 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 in but you know here we are at. But you know, even, even with that short flow period, it's still built. Yeah, you know, we still actually haven't even measured the uh, the bottom hole pressure, which is which is the ideal. That's the only reason that you run to mm -hmm. is to measure. And that's what we're still building. So it's going to still what was that six minutes? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's that's why I say three minutes is even better. Look at the look at the difference in the angle, though. Look yeah. look how much flatter, and they're now neither one of them are flat, but but look how much look how much flatter that is, and that's a shorter shut-in period than this final shut-in is. And of course, until you, until you change your scale, 
you, you, you never really, you, you never see that. I mean, when you, when you first just eyeball the test, you say, oh, they, they're both broke over, you know, we're, we're sitting here and we, you know, we're at, uh, you know, we're at, what is it, uh, 1370 and we're at uh, 1338, but, but when you really look, there's a lot, there's a lot of angle left, there's a lot. Paul, can you show the Warner derivatives? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's let's go to diagnostics. Could you mention what's that what's that difference mean? I mean we don't all know what all this is. Okay, yeah. Well, what 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 we have going on here is the fact that we ran that short initial flow, we didn't we didn't we didn't draw down a lot a lot. We didn't draw down a lot of pressure or fluid or anything out of that zone, and so so that zone is still virgin at, at that first shut-in. So so with it being virgin, it reacts a lot quicker to, and 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 builds up and breaks over a lot sooner. Now during that final flow period, we've we're, we're, we're producing the reservoir. It's, all, it's like we've, we've got a pumping unit out there. We're, we're producing that zone and, uh, and so with the amount of fluid and gas or whatever we took out of that zone based on the permeability it's going to take that zone longer to react and, and, to, and to try to come back up to where it was. I mean it's just uh, Is this good or bad? I mean I, I have no reference for Well reference point for anything you've shown being good or bad? Okay. Well, what? Well, I guess what is what? It, what? What it's probably saying in this instance that we 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 don't have, a, and I'll and I'll go show you some different tests, but that have more permeability. But but this this here, we might have a permeability problem here. We might have a an issue where where as you get the, and another thing too, you got to remember the further the longer you run your test, your radius of investigation gets larger and larger. I mean, you're producing further and further and further away from that well bore, and and if your rocks are are uh, high quality rocks close to your reservoir you're going to see that shut in break over faster but if you if you run a long flow and then you have lower permeability rocks further from that well bore it's going to take those lower permeability rocks longer to to produce that pressure and, and get that pressure back to that zone so so in this instance it, this 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 could be a problem here let me let me go ahead and and uh, okay look at this derivative here Okay, this uh, this blue line here. This this is this is a pseudo derivative of, of the first shut-in. And uh, would you say we're in radial flow here, Bill, or not? Nope. We're not because because the reason why is we're 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 climbing here. We you know that when when you're in radial flow is when you have a flat derivative. So we're not in radial flow. So we really can't even use a Horner plot here. The, Go the English interpretation of what radial flow is. That's just an even, that's what the reservoir will produce? Yeah, it, steady it, state. There, there's a lot of models of flow. Radial flow is what you think after you get a perfect reservoir, no boundaries, you got your well bore sitting right in the middle of it, you got flow coming equally from each direction. Okay? That's the only circumstance that a corner plot is valid. That's the only circumstance. So 99.9% .9 of the of the DSPs run in this part of the world, and Horner plot is not valid. Yeah, Horner Horner was the first guy, though. I mean, he he was the he was the pioneer. He was the pioneer. He was he, he was. He was he, this stuff out, and like I say, the Gulf Coast, yeah, you know, Darcy permeability, pretty good. Hundred I think hundred mil Darcy's permeability, no barriers around it. That's gonna probably get to great real flow. It's kind of like using Darcy's equation in a curve. Yeah, same. Exactly. <laughs> So you can, if you guys have this software and you have a question on it, just pull up that derivative curve. And if there's an inflection in that derivative curve, let's do that. Let's. I, I showed you the initial. Let me. Let me go in. Here's the final. And, I, and I, there again, you can zoom up on them too. See, it's it's, it's flat for a while, and then it's then it's got a hump, and then it it looks like maybe it's trying to come down and flatten out again.